Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and we're going to be, um, well I'm going to do my list for my 2023 horror movies that I want to see, but, uh, yeah, I guess let's get straight into it, so my first one I want to see is, uh, obviously, The Exorcist, I don't know how to spell, fucking hell, uh, They, they, rather, they might, um, push it back another year. I'm not sure if they do that, that's stupid, but that's just 2023. Dave Gore Green did so fucking good with the Halloween trilogy. Well, his Halloween trilogy. Now I want to see what he does to The Exorcist. Because what he did with the Halloween trilogy was so fucking good. He was so good at directing it. To be honest, I think Dave Gore Green is one of the best directors besides John Carpenter because maybe no him and John Carpenter are the best well Tommy Lee Wallace but that's not Michael Myers but um they're both fucking all good directors and I actually felt like I was watching a fucking perfect fucking trilogy but what he done with Halloween ends, that fucked me up. I wish the writers wouldn't add where Michael gets meat grinded. They clearly could have not killed him. They literally could have done something else with the fucking ending. Like, they literally could have, after Lori, like, stabs him and... D Allison should have not come in in that time. I'm being fucking honest. If Michael was choking Lori and, um, he was dying... They should have both fucking died, if you know what I mean. Because that's bullshit how they killed Michael off, but let the final girl live. I understand it, but you don't have to... You know how many movies Michael's been alive in, right? Like, literally. Why would you kill him off? He's the main protagonist of the fucking story anyway. But they made fucking Corey Cunningham, which I'm not mad at about. I liked Corey, but The Exorcist, um, 2023, there's going to be three films of this because it's going to be a trilogy, that's what David Gore Green said, but my next on the list, uh, can't wait for this movie, they have a fifth film, I'm excited, I want to see what Patrick Wilson does with it, and it's going to be Insidious. Five. Fear of Dark. And there's going to be a City 6 after this because I wonder who's directing it. Maybe James Wan. But in City 5, I have high expectations for I want to see how Patrick Wilson did good directing the fucking movie. Like, he probably done a phenomenal job. He's one of my favorite actors, too. He might have... He might be my favorite director, or second favorite director. Who knows? But, um, and I want to see what happens after the events of all the Insidious movies, because I know this picks up right after Insidious 1 and 2. Or 4 and 5. Or four, 3 and 4. Because the timeline is fucking weird. Because if you read it on the description of Insidious 5, it says Dalton is older now. He's brought to college and dark spirits haunt him and shit. And, um, Elise is still dead. I wonder how they're gonna bring her back. They might have a funeral and shit. Who knows? But, Insidious 5, Fear of Dark. That's my second. Coming at number three, uh. Whew. I know a lot of people did not like the mean one. So, hopefully they'll like this one. Uh, hopefully they'll like this movie. Hopefully they'll like this fucking movie. But, the mean one, it hasn't gotten that much love. I loved the mean one. It was so fucking perfect.
perfect. If you want to know what my review on the movie was, go watch it. But if you're tired of he hearing me rant about it, go watch my review on it. But this movie was everything. I know it was not as perfect, perfect, but it's perfect. I don't care what anybody says right now. It's way better than Jim Carrey. Not better than the original Grinch cartoon. I'm talking about like as a movie. And way better than that 2018 shit one. But we need to prove blood and honey. I wonder what they do with that fuck movie. There's trailers of the shit. And um, a bunch of girls getting kidnapped and maybe killed and shit. And you see Winnie Pooh get stopped by three guys. And he's like standing in the middle of the fucking woods. And they walk out to him. Whatever the fuck happens. But I'm excited to watch this fucking movie whenever it comes out. But this is my number three. Uh, number four. Um, obviously, Gremlins Three. I have not watched the second fucking movie, but I guess it's the sequel to the original. So it does not take place right after the second one, which haven't watched the second one, but comes out December 15, 2023. Okay. Which, I wonder what they'll do with the movie. Will they bring back the fucking original guy that played in it? Well, that guy's kind of a dick, but I don't know if they'll bring him back. I don't know what the fuck they could do. They can bring back the fucking um, evil ones. But Gizmo was the cutest out of all of them, obviously. To be honest, they are all fucking cute. But, um... They haven't made a um third. They haven't made any of these movies. Well, a third movie since whatever fucking Gremlins two came out. But Gremlins three, or they might push it back a year. I don't care. But that's my number four. Um, this sh sh list might be short because there's not gonna be a lot of movies coming out this year. So yeah. Um, in my number five spot. Uh. Scream 6. Now, I know this is in the number 5. I should have put it in number 1, but... Scream 6 comes out before all these fucking movies. Because this comes out in October. This comes out in July. This comes out in February. Well, never mind. This is way before it. I don't know the f when the fuck this movie comes out, but this movie comes out March 9th or March 10th. So... Scream 6 2023. I may have high expectations for it, but I just want to see what they do with the fucking franchise. I'm not ready for it to end like 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 Halloween. I'm not ready for that to end. Like I wanna see more of the story and shit. Like that's what I mean. Like will Stumach come back? He's still alive. So there's no doubting he's not alive. So, Scream 6 at number 5. Now, number 6. Um, do not know if this will come out either this year or next year. But, I think they're working on it. Damien Lee on the, well, however you say his name. Terrifier 3. Now, um... The reason why I'm excited for this movie, this is probably one of the most exciting movies, in my opinion. Well, except for Insidious 5, and then... But, the reason why I'm excited for this, you know why? Terrifier 2 did so fucking good. I loved all the blood and gore. It did so fucking good. Like, literally, they left off with such a cliffhanger. Like, at the very end, you got Chris Jericho... As a doctor, and then at the very end, this woman's pulling our fucking intestines, giving birth to fucking Art the Clown's head, and you see him smile, and a woman walks in, 
And I actually didn't know, um, the woman that's holding Art Clown's head is actually the one that got possessed by him, which I never knew that. So, um, it follows up with Kira and I think, uh, what's the fucking name? What the fuck is the name? Kira and, that's not the fucking cast, bitch. Uh, Jonathan, and whatever the fuck. I can't fucking find shit. Yeah, I can't find it. So, Kira, Ki I don't know if it's Kira, but Jonathan, their story will continue right after. And Damian Leone, or whoever said this, he's, whoever said this, I don't know who said it, but someone said that Terrifier 3 would be the scariest out of all of them. Which, Art the Clowns already, ter is already fucking cre creepy as shit. Like, literally, you have a man dressed up in a fucking clown costume, paint on his fucking face, he carries on a fucking giant ass gar garbage bag full of not. You don't know what the fuck is in it. It could be fucking weapons, which it is. But as soon as he finds you, you're dead. Like literally, getting your either your head chopped out, your brain took out, or literally salt and fucking bleach on your body. Or mashed potato head. That's what, yeah, mashed potato head. But Terrifier Three is on my number six. Uh now number seven. Uh. Ooh, I'm actually running out. The Pope's Exorcist. The fuck is this movie? Um. Okay. Uh Wait, well, I wanna search up when Cocaine Bear comes out. Okay. I can put that in another fucking Alright, so number seven is Cocaine Bear. Which I thought it was a stupid movie. Well I never watched it, but I thought the trailer was, like, the whole concept of a bear having cocaine. Stupid. But, if it's horror, I'll fucking watch it. It's just thriller, so that means fucking horror and shit, but... I I will watch this. Like, it looks not that bad. I haven't watched the trailer, but I saw pictures of it, and it looks fucking good. I'm telling you, it looks good. People are hyped for this movie. I don't blame you. But Cocaine Bear is number seven. Uh, I wonder how the movie will do good because if I watch it and it sucks, I don't have my review on that. But now, number eight. Uh. Alright, number eight is the final one, because there's not a lot of horror movies coming out this year. None, too. I heard it got pushed back. Heard it got pushed back. And why are people already fucking putting fucking Rotten Tomatoes and shit? It's not even out yet. But, none too. I'll, I haven't watched the none. I literally have it on DVD. I, I will watch that, but. I wonder. I will watch the none two or the first one first. You know me, because I watch all types of shit backwards and shit. But the none two, 
I have not watched the first one, so I know nothing about the fucking movie. I know it follows the Conjuring series. And where, um, Zalek is the demon from the second Conjuring, but from the nun. And, um, Lorraine Warren in the first nun was actually a fucking, one of those women that are fucking, I don't fucking know. But, uh, or... I want to search up movies coming out in 2022. 2022. Not a, gr- a lot of great movies, like horror movies, are coming out this year. Like, literally. Like, this is all there is. I'm not gonna watch Megan. I I don't care for a doll that comes to life. All right, here we go. Indiana Jones already know that's gonna fucking reboot. It might be. I don't care for. Wow, they're rebooting the Willy Wonka series. Why the fuck would they do that? Did not know if I'll watch this fucking movie. I'm being dead ass. I'm not going to watch Chris Pratt ruin Mario. I'm sorry whoever is a fan of Chris Pratt. Whoever is a fan of his work, what he done in um, Jurassic Park and shit. I just don't like his voice acting. It's terrible. And a lot of people... Can agree with me. Minecraft's a fucking movie. What? Cleopatra. Another Star Trek movie. Gemini, whatever the fuck that is. The dwarf. Don't know what the fuck that is. Uh. Or the Rings. Hello, Stranger. Uh. Three Stooges. Don't know what that movie is. The Division's gonna be a fucking movie? When? None to yes, obviously. Evil Dead Rise. That movie looks so fucking good. I'm gonna put that in my number nine. Evil Dead Rise. That movie looks fucking good. It looks creepy too. I never watched any of the Evil Dead movies. But this one looks scary. If you know what I mean. This one looks fucking. Peter Pan and Wendy. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, yeah, the Peter Pan horror movie. I wonder when the fuck that shit's coming out. Or. And also, um. When are they gonna make a Creep 3? They need to make that shit. Creep 3 is officially in the works. Thank you. I want to know when the fuck this movie will come out. Because I want to see what happens to this guy. Where the fuck? Mark Duplass. You gotta play some, but I don't know his fucking name. You gotta fit. has so many names in the movie. But. I'll put Creep 3. On here, because I don't know if it'll come out, but, but, um, yeah, that's my list for, um, all the moves I want to see. Exist, and see it's five, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, Gremlins 3, Scream 6, Terrify 3, I don't know if that'll come out this year, Cocaine Bear, I know that's coming out, None 2, that's coming out, Evil Dead Rise, April, 
of this year in Creep 3. In my opinion, I don't think it's a bad list, but I could have came up with a lot more, but I couldn't think of any more because there's not a lot of good horror movies coming out nowadays. And I feel like the Halloween series is going to be dead for a couple of years until there's another fucking reboot. But this is my list for all, all the movies I want to see in 2023. For 2023. Uh... All the reviews will be coming out for these movies, if I even get to watch them. But, yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and it's my list. I guess tell me your list if you want to, but yeah, see ya.